Hello, this is Cat Connect with Ask Your Tango, answering your love and relationship questions. Today's question is Valentine's Day. Why is it so often disappointing? I see this a lot in my work. I can pretty much predict Valentine's Day is coming. I'm going to get a phone call from a few people because the expectations are so high around Valentine's Day. Often, maybe a week or two before Valentine's Day even comes, the expectations start rising. And along with those expectations come our fears. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna be as good as I want. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be disappointed, right? So number one is taking a look at what your expectations are. And I'm gonna suggest that you actually uh, throw having any expectations out the window. Instead of expectations, why don't you try having a loving intention? It's very different when we have an intention because expectations set us up for disappointment because it means things have to be a certain way, they have to look a certain way, we have to be a certain way. When we have a loving intention, it's about what's the experience you want to have? Kind of what, it, what is it you want to have with that special person in your life? So that's two steps. Let go of the expectations, have a loving intention, and here's for, this is for the extra credit. If you really wanna go for it, admit this to your sweetie. Say to him or her, you know what? I've had expectations in the past. It hasn't worked out. This year, my intention is for whatever it is. It's to have a loving connection with you. It's to have some fun. It's to hang out. And then find out what it is that they want, right? It's actually a two-way street, Valentine's Day. It's about that sweet spot with your sweetie.